Happy Mola Monday, Epic 7, and welcome to this week's Hall of Trials video. I'm trying something a little different. I'm going to separate the Triple S Plus Full Auto video and the Diagnosis Car video into two separate videos. This one will be the Triple S Plus Full Auto team. If you're looking for the Dagger Sakar video, check the link in the description for that team. Now, as with all Triple S Plus Full Auto teams, I did my best to use units that don't require changing them from their normal gear loadout. If you change the gear up a little bit, you'll have higher success rate. The gimmicks for this week are Extra turns are turned off, making Kitty Clarissa and units like that not so good. If you have a Ranger on the team, extra 50% damage to your whole team, so no Rangers. If the boss is inflicted with Provoke, you do 50% more damage. And if a Knight Hero is on the team, then all allies get 30% more attack. Now, unfortunately, Provoke is not a skill that's on a lot of units that do damage, so we're going to ignore that mechanic entirely. We're just going to run the dual team of Fire Lilius and Sermia. First, let's look at Lilius' skills. So Fire Lilius is not on very good gear. I don't use this unit very often. 250-ish speed is a little more common for her, a lot more health, having some actual crit chance. There's all kinds of ways you can make her better. I have her on the S2EE just for some cycling, and I have her on Warhorn mostly to give uh, extra damage to Sermia. And if I had been smarter about it, I would have turned her imprint on to give attack bonus to Sermia. Sermia is my standard... Uh, rage set Sermia. I've got her on the Cruel Mischief artifact for maximum damage, and of course you always want her on her S1EE for extra procs. Now, I did cheat a little bit and swapped her to attack main boots for a little bit extra damage because I wanted to see if I could pull off an auto dagger Sakar, but you can run her on speed boots and this still works. Now when this first attack happens, if it stuns Lilius, this then way. just restart. You want to have Lilius' skills I off. Her S3 isn't move. really that useful here. You want to maximize attack. the dual attacks. Sermia, I left the skills on Disappear. because I wanted her to have a source of attack buff. There is no mercy. Sermia pushes fight. phase with her S3, and the timing on this is good because this she'll way. use her S2 inside the break phase. Attack. Nice. Keep watching, everyone. There's the greater attack this buff, way. and now we're just hoping for the on extra attacks like that. Yeah. Attack. Nice. Enough. Unfortunately, she uses her S3, which does not hit nearly as hard as her S1, because her S3 relies on defense penetration, and this boss has no defense in the break phase, but still, we exit at 3.3 million. Double hit is really nice, and the heal block that she spams activates her rage set. Stun's a little unfortunate. Now the fail condition for this team is in this transition phase, you can get hit with defense break. And if you get hit with defense break and your units get nuked, you've got to restart. But as long as you make it into the second break phase, you're practically guaranteed triple S plus, even if your gear is a much lower quality than mine. So we're at 4.2, 4.6. There's triple S plus and we're barely into the break phase. 5.3, 5.6. We're now 2 million points past triple S plus. So we see how stable this team is going to be for getting triple S plus on full auto. It's very way. unlikely you'll survive to the end, so you just take the loss. Target confirmed. And there you have it. Triple S plus full auto using Sermia and Lilius. If you don't have Fire Lilius built, you can run this with Conqueror Lilius, also with her skills off. Conqueror Lilius' reverse, per, re, reverse Provoke does not count as a Provoke, so you can't use that for extra damage, and you lose the Knight bonus, but... I don't think the extra 30% attack from the Knight bonus really is going to change the fact that you can get triple S plus easily with Sermia plus a dual attacking unit. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments section. Check out my Dagger Sakar video linked in the description if that's what you're looking for. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great one, everybody.